to another video for the Edexcel Further Pure 1 Maths A-Level Syllabus. This is the fifth video on coordinate systems and in this video I will introduce the idea of the rectangular hyperbola. Now, we have done everything we needed on parabolas. The only thing I've left out is that we need to know the Cartesian equation for a rectangular hyperbola and it is x, y is, c, is c squared and we need to know uh, the parametric which is x is ct and y is c over t and that's what it says here the idea of a parametric equation of a hyperbola there I will leave the last section in one video we've got all the knowledge for this we just need to pull everything together this video is going to very quickly introduce the idea of a rectangular hyperbola we're not going to do any questions on it as such okay a rectangular hyperbola here's where the idea comes from imagine I drew a rectangle and I told you that the area of that rectangle was 34 right, units and I said to you uh, what is the width and what is the height let's say you tell me what the width and height could be well um, there are many numbers it could be but it could be let's say 1 and 34 it could be 2 and 17 it could be uh, 34 and 1, let's say. It could be, um, let's say, um, 3.4 and 10. Okay? It could even be all of these numbers, the negative of both. It could be neg not with length, uh, I understand, there's no such thing as negative length, but if I was extending the idea to what two numbers multiply to 34, could be negative 1, negative 34, negative 2, negative 17, negative 34, negative 1, negative 3.4, negative 10. Now there are infinitely many numbers. What would happen if we plot these numbers? 1 against 34. Uh, here's my x here and here's my y. 1 against 34. 2 against 17. Uh, 34 against 1. Um, 3.4 against 10 and the same down here it would be uh, negative 1 negative 34 negative 2 negative 17 negative 34 negative 1 and look hopefully you can see you're getting something that looks like this this type of thing here and that is where the idea of a rectangular hyperbola comes from the sets of points that multiply to the area of a rectangle now it, and, and extending that idea with negative numbers as well so that's the idea of a, ne a rectangular hyperbola the map, so this here would be the set of th this equation here is the set of numbers x y that multiplied to 34 or making y the subject y is 34 over x now we know we've been drawing the 1 over x graph since GCSE and the 34 over x graph is very similar it's just um, more steep here. And that's that. That's where the idea of a rectangular hyperbola comes from. So in general, if let's call um, this area here c squared, let's say, and that's x and that's y, in general then, the equation of a hyperbola would be the numbers x and y, the set of numbers x and y that multiply to give this area c squared, or rearranging it, y is c squared over x. And I just chose c squared by convention just to make sure that it's actually a positive number. And there we go, that is a rectangular hyperbola. Nice this uh, with some writing and d some definitions. Here is a rectangular hyperbola and it has equation x, y is c squared. Or as I said, if you wanted to rearrange that, you could write that as y is equal to c squared over x divided by x and that's called a rectangular hyperbola rectangular because of how I told you numbers multiplying up to the area of a rectangle okay um, looking at that graph there okay as um, x tends to infinity the graph tends towards zero so this is this line here, the x-axis is called an asymptote, it's a horizontal asymptote. The curve never touches x is zero, but it approaches it. And the y-axis is, is also an asymptote. As x tends to zero, 
the graph tends to infinity and negative infinity, it never touches it though. So they're called asymptotes, those points there. So um, there's the curve. The Cartesian form is x, y, c squared, where c is a positive constant. The curve has asymptotes at x is 0, the y-axis, and y is 0, the x-axis, as I mentioned. Now here's a, a new point I haven't said. Here's the parametric form of the curve. The parametric form is x is equal to ct and y is c divided by t for some parameter t. Now, why does that work? Well, it's just convention. It's just chosen like that. But if we multiply together x and y, okay, we want to get c squared. Well, if x was chosen to be ct and y was chosen to be c divided by t, the parameter t cancels and we get the c squared we're after. So these are by uh, convention, that's all. And you need to know the parametric form. So that tells us that any point on the curve can either be written as x, y, it's an x coordinate and it's a y coordinate, or it can be written as c, t for x and c over t for y. For c, that positive number in the, in the equation x, y is c squared, and t, the parameter um, that we've introduced. And that's all I wanted to say about a rectangular hyperbola. I don't want to do any questions just yet. I will leave that to the last video where we do exam style questions. So just um, then to finish, do read page 52 and look at example 8 and then tune in for the next video where in the next video what we're going to do is we are going to answer all questions in the exam style that come up about tangents and normals to rectangular hyperbola and parabolas. Okay, and we need all the knowledge we've done previously. So that's how we're going to end. So just make sure you know what a rectangular hyperbola is, you know its Cartesian form, you know where its asymptotes are, and you know its parametric form. So any point on the line is x, y, or ct, and c over t. And that's it, we're done. Thank you for watching.